talk about Pocket Informant today. It's currently available on the App Store for the iPhone and the iPad. Pocket Informant is a personal information manager. What it does, it brings together your events and your tasks into one application. Right out of the box, as soon as you install Pocket Informant, it's able to sync with Google Calendar, it'll sync with Toodledo, it'll sync with Outlook on the Windows desktop, and it will provide access to your iCal information. So if you have a sync set up through MobileMe, the information will move between your, your uh, Mac desktop and the application. The view that we're going to start with here is called the Today View. It's pretty much just an overview. I can get up in the morning first thing and see all my information for the day right in front of me. I can see my events. I can see the people I'm going to be meeting with. Down here I can see my to-do list. Sorry, I hit a filter there. I can see the to-do list. The red items are items that are overdue and they just keep carrying forward over to the next day to the next day until I complete them. Down here I have my one current task that I have to work on today. I can see that at a glance. And then it also shows me all of my alarms that I have for the day, so I'm not caught off guard with anything. On this screen, and any of the screens that are available in the calendar, I can edit items, I can delete items, I can add new items, be they events or tasks. From here we drop into the calendar view. This is the, called the month view, it's a straight 30 day style month calendar like you might see on the wall. If I see a day that I have some interest in, I can tap on the day and it'll show me all that day's data that I can scroll through. If I need to drill down on an event, it'll show me the information in more detail. I can also look back to previous months, as many months as I want to swipe to, or I can also look forward to the next month. From there we go into the week view. Not the day's view, not yet. The week view is a seven day aggregate view that shows the current day on top and the future days, the next six future days below it. Again, I can scroll through the information if I need to. If I wanted to tap on an event or a task, I could and it would drill down just like we showed in the previous view. Along the top here, we have time bars that define where my events are inside of the day. The next view is the, lit is the days view. In the days view, I can see either one day or I can broaden this out to show up to 10 days. It's a graphical representation of my day. What I have here is the delineator bar showing the current time and it's dropping down through the day across my events so I know exactly where I'm at at a glance. The blue indicates the current day. The yellow box are the predetermined work hours that I have set up in Pocket Informant so that it knows what my work day is. Finally in the calendar view, the next view is the list view. What this is is very similar to the today view that we started with. The exception is that it's got a broader scope. I can scroll forward and see days coming in the future, or I can scroll backward and see the days that have already passed and see what my events and tasks look like on those particular days. From here we drop into okay. the task view, which is a basic straightforward kind of task manager. I can add tasks, I can complete tasks, I can delete tasks, I can edit tasks here. If I'm using a project management philosophy such as getting things done, I can build my projects here. Once my projects are established, if they have a task in them that I have assigned or either added manually, I can go into the project and see this dashboard. At a glance, I can see all the detail for my project and know exactly what my completion percentage is, how many overdue or, or incomplete tasks I have, and also how many completed tasks I have within my project. If I had more than one task, multiple tasks in my project here, I can manually complete them in this screen, or I can come back out to this screen, and in one touch, I can complete the entire project without having to touch the individual tasks. Along with the task management, we have an item called context location alarms. I don't have one displayed here, but what a context location alarm can do is this. I'll share with you an example. I can set a context location called grocery store, and I can enter my grocery store's address. Then I can do a task in Pocket Informant called shop for groceries. If I'm out on a GPS-enabled device and I'm driving around and I get near my grocery store, Pocket Informant will set off an alarm telling me that I've got an unfinished task at the grocery store called grocery shopping. Do I want to complete the task? At that point, I have to make a decision. Do I really want to go grocery shopping or do I want to wait? If I tell it yes, Pocket Informant assumes I've completed the task and will uh, put it in the completed tasks area. If not, the next time I'm in that location or near that location, Pocket Informant will set off an alarm again to remind me to go grocery shopping. Finally, the last view that we'll, sh we'll look at in my overview today 
is the settings view. Pocket Informant has over 100 settings that you can use to set the behaviors of the program. You can tell it how much data or how little data you want to see. You can determine colors for various elements within the application. You can t uh, determine font size, font style, items like that to make Pocket Informant essentially fit you like a glove and do exactly what you want it to do. And as I said, it's currently available on the App Store. And that pretty much concludes my presentation there. Was that good? That's very good.